All right, Cameron. So you have a little cavity on one of your baby teeth. Can you open really big for me, honey? So way back here. Can you lift your chin a little bit so my friends can see? Can you see that occlusal decay on A? So let's get a little picture of that. Can you see it pretty well? Just an occlusal on A. Right there. So just that little occlusal cavitation. All right. So what we're going to do, instead of having to do shots or drill and fill your tooth, instead I'm going to put medicine on your tooth to kill the bugs in there that are making the cavity. And then I'm going to fill that little hole, the little cavity in your tooth with um, glass atom or cement, which is also kind of like medicine for your tooth. So it's going to be really quick and easy and painless. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to clean your tooth with a little pumice. Okay. So we're going to brush out. This is pretty firm. You would want to remove any mush that would be in the, in the cavity, but this is nice and clean. So I'm just going to pumice it out. So some of these smart restorations are going to need a little bit of cleanup with a hand piece or a slow speed or Spoon excavator. In this case, it's just not, not necessary. His saliva was already trying to arrest the lesion. So we'll use pumice. And now I'm gonna put some Vaseline on your lips because I don't want the medicine to accidentally stain your skin. So we're gonna put Vaseline around your lips. And this makes a nice barrier so you don't accidentally give them a temporary tattoo with the silver diamine fluoride or the SDF. Okay, and now we're gonna put a little pillow in your mouth to help you stay open, nice and big. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a little cotton to help keep your cheek out of the way. Okay, can you lift your chin up to the sky? Look up, look at our beautiful ceiling. Awesome. Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little cleaner. This is cavity conditioner, polyacrylic acid. And this is gonna remove the smear layer and open up the dentinal tubules so the silver diamine fluoride soaks deeper into the tooth or penetrates deeper. And it's gonna allow for a better better chemical bond of the glass armor cement. So you're just gonna apply that for about 10 seconds and we're gonna rinse it off. Doing good, just keep breathing through your nose. We're gonna rinse your tooth. So we do wanna dry it because now I'm gonna apply the silver diamine fluoride. Usually you don't wanna desiccate it the tooth after the cavity conditioner is placed. But in this case, I do want it dry because I'm gonna be applying the silver diamine fluoride. So I'm gonna paint that on there for one minute. This is the medicine going on your tooth, the SDF. And we're gonna set a timer for one minute. All right. And then once the minute timer goes off, I'll blot off any excess. I'm gonna put this under your tongue just in case it decides to get curious and lick that. <laughs> And then we're gonna restore his tooth with Fuji Equia Forte, which is a high viscosity glass atom or cement, which is the ideal material for this. So we're just waiting a minute. And then my friend is gonna mix up the Equia Forte and we're gonna just squirt it in the little cavity there. We got about 20 seconds left. You can go ahead and start mixing it. You can actually see the cavity turn black from the overhead light. All right, so it's been a minute. I'm gonna blot off any excess. But again, you want the surface a little moist for your glass iron or cement. You can hear our little triturator going. Your tongue is like a little snake. <laughs> Can you move your tongue down, honey? I'm gonna try to put this little paper under your tooth so you don't lick it by accident. Thank you. All right, so my friend's gonna give me the filling material. I'm gonna just squirt it in your tooth. I like to use the applicator gun because then I have better control. Some people use their finger. Um, thank you. So you're just gonna go ahead and apply it right into the cavity. Again, this is a Fuji Equia Forte. And I like to use a damp Q-tip to press it into place. Some people use their finger. 
So glass liner cement needs moisture to set. So I know it might seem bizarre to be touching this with a damp Q-tip, but you're just gonna press it into place. You have about 45 seconds of working time. And then the glass is gonna start to set, so you wanna stop messing with it. If it starts to get crumbly, you've played with it too long and you'll disrupt the glass matrix and the restoration will fail. But I got it into place. We have a two and a half minute timer counting down. And because this is a same day smart, I am not going to place the Fuji coat or the type over the top because that requires light curing. And I don't want to light cure my SDF. Number one, it won't allow deeper penetration of the silver into the dentinal tubules. Number two, I don't want to turn the entire tooth black. <laughs> Um, same day smart, this glass animal cement will eventually turn gray, so it's important for um, the child and the parent to understand that that's expected and normal. And it'd just be like a pale gray, kind of lighter actually than an amalgam filling. Um, there is a way to prevent that is if you step, stage out the SDF at the exam and then place the glass animal cement after the curious is already arrested, two to four weeks later, the glass animal cement would actually stay white. But in this case, I am gonna place a little bit of Vaseline over just to help seal out the saliva to help the glass animer cement um, get to its ideal setting properties. Doing good, We're almost done. So as it starts to look a little frosty, you can dab it with the Q-tip again. Do you have the um, damp Q-tip? I'm gonna dab it a little longer. Again, it needs moisture to, to set, so start, if it starts to look a little frosty, you can just dab it with a moist Q-tip. All right, well, it's been two and a half minutes, so I'm just gonna cover it, protect it with a little Vaseline to keep the acidity of the saliva out a little longer so it doesn't wash out as quickly. Okay. That's it, so I'm gonna take everything out. We're gonna give you a little rinse. And then I just need you not to eat anything hard or crunchy for 48 hours, okay? Because it's still setting. You don't wanna eat like chips or hard candy. So when you go to Chunk or Treat tomorrow night, just trade your suckers for chocolate instead and make sure you brush. Okay, was that easy? Piece of cake, right? Yeah, all right, thank you.